Hi everyone, just a quick video for you. Um, I keep seeing people on social media who are not sure about how to put the um, malt pipe accessories together. So just a quick video to show you the bits you should have and how I put them together. So first off, what you should have, you should have two pipe sections. There's a short one there and a longer one. Now depending how much grain you've got, if you've got a bigger grain bill, you'll want the longer pipe at the bottom so the grain is down here and this plate can then sit tightly on top of the grain. If you've got a smaller grain bill, you can use a smaller pipe down the bottom. You should have this little end nut here, which is just a small nut on the end that connects into, let me just take it apart to show you. which connects into one of these, which is just threaded straight through all the way through. So you've got the small connector at the bottom. Which looks like that. Okay, so you've got a smooth bit, then the threaded bit. Then the bottom plate. And notice I've got the bump going up. There's two reasons for this. So that when you assemble it, which you do just by screwing it in, dead straightforward. Like I say, two reasons. When you put this into the malt pipe, if that lump is down, this nut sticks right out the bottom. So every time you put that down, it pushes this up. If you have the dent up that way, when you put it down, it doesn't force it up out the malt pipe. So all your malt stays in the malt pipe. The other reason is if it's this way, all the weight helps push the edge out, making a better seal in the malt pipe. If you had the bottom plate in that way, when you put all your malt in and it got really heavy, it would start pulling the edges in instead of forcing them out. So, when you put it in, that bump should be up. Like I say, what, whether you want the small or large bit at the bottom depends totally on the amount of grain you've got. I won't tell you figures, because I don't know off the top of my head. I think it's about five, if you've got more than about five kilos, you probably want the long one on the bottom. So, put that on. The top bit, you have two accessories. You've got a nut, which depending on the unit, may be stainless, may be plastic. And you've got another one of these, where the thread only goes halfway through and it's smooth at the top. What you want to do, assemble it up. And then when you're filling it up with malt, you use that one so whether it's the metal or the plastic one depending which supplier your unit came from you put that on so that when you're pouring all the malt in it doesn't go down the overflow pipe once your malt's in you've stirred it all in it's all mashed in nicely you've got no dough balls on with the top plate now I needn't say when you're doing that it's obviously in the malt pipe and not just out here but it's out here so you can see what I'm doing. And then this one, the smooth bit without the thread, goes at the top and that acts as your overflow. I've heard a lot of people get very scared about the overflow. There's no need to be scared of it. It is there to make sure that your element doesn't dry fire. So if you've pumped all the fluid up here and you've got a stuck mash, the fluid can fall down through that overflow into the bottom of the unit. Some people like to have the pump trickling out when they're recirculating so that it doesn't overflow. If that works for them, that's great. I'm not knocking them for that choice. Personally, I prefer it to always be overflowing a little because if I've got that pump going really slowly, then all the hot wort 
is cooling down before it gets a chance to go into the mash. I'd much rather I'm having the, the fluid recirculating constantly so it's always getting hot fluid poured on the top which then has a chance to go through instead of having a chance to cool down here sat on the top before it percolates to the grain. So if you're using the overflow pipe you will probably find a much more even temperature throughout your malt. Okay, so there you go. That's how to assemble the pipe, the bits you should have in there, and how to use it. Hope you find it useful.